we're just uh, going to head over to Newcomerstown for a few minutes with uh, the mayor, Pat Cato, who's in on our 830 high beam this morning. Uh, mayor Cato, good morning. Uh, thanks for coming in. It's good to well, see you again. Good morning to you, and thanks for inviting me. Not a problem whatsoever, because uh, I know a lot of things have been going on in Newcomerstown, and we don't always hear about them or the details about them, so it's a good opportunity to do that. And uh, here I I do know that you are going to have a, uh, a grand new office pretty soon at least is that right well i don't know about the word grand that's all right <laughs> but yes we're excited uh we had purchased the uh, the morgan's building last year and um it gives us a lot more space for growth um but the biggest reason we 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 needed a new office was the steps at the municipal building were hard for people yeah. and we, we had sent out a survey in 2020 a community survey and that came up as one of the top things that people didn't like that they were concerned with um, so we began looking for a one floor deal and, and it, and it works out well because it, it helps the police station out because they have a little more space right now, um, than, than they'll need. Um, it gives them a conference room upstairs. I know the chief has meetings at different times that he has to go to other places that it, it just makes it easier for both groups. Um, as we move over what right now we have is we're working with the architect. So we'll pray, we'll try and put it out for bid, um, in January and the goal if everything goes perfect, you know mm-hmm. how that goes. Well, yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> hopefully by this time we're moving in next year. That would be great, wouldn't it? Yes, that'll be nice. Certainly. Uh, where are you at in your term? I don't even know. This is second year of second term. Okay. So you, so you've got, got two years to go. you got a couple more years at least right. to go with that. Well, very good. And uh, something else that uh, we got to talk about a little bit before we came on here was the uh, – River walk and the boat ramp, which seem to be uh, really popular additions. Then, you know, it's one of those things you're never sure how people are going to take it. We knew the boat dock um, and the ramp were, were going to be good things because we have a lot of kayakers. The, the river is probably one of the biggest recreational areas right now that people are utilizing. Yeah. And uh, we like that we're a finishing point if you want to start in Janaton. And that's a good trip. That's about five and a half hours from Janaton on that river because of the twists and turns. Yeah. But you're a two and a half. Um, our ride to the to Fort 751 in, in Coshocton County, or you can go all the way to Coshocton if you want to. That's a good day trip too. Oh yeah. Um, but the biggest thing is is where we didn't expect the fishermen to enjoy it as much as they are, and they're pulling fish out of there. I, I didn't know we're in that river. Um, there's <laughs> one guy got a saw guy. I had a guy send me a, a, two pictures of um, sheephead that I couldn't believe were in there. Um, you always think of the river and catfish and, and crappies and those type things, but sheephead, I had never, I never dreamed yeah. of it. And the one guy pulled, it was about a foot and a half long. It was, it was a nice size fish. I don't even know if you can eat sheephead. <laughs> <laughs> the thrill of catching it's enough though. There you go. A size, a fish that size. Yeah. But, um, the nice thing is right, right off that ramp, uh, we have a loop about a half mile loop right now in, in the new park. Um, about a quarter mile of it is just a river walk, and it's probably the prettiest part, uh, especially with a full uh, foliage coming out right mm-hmm. now. And uh, so it's it's something that's nice and easy. We know we have we have people walking down there. We actually think we already are going to need a bigger parking lot than what we have from what we've seen down there already. There so go. it's it's been a nice addition. It's a pleasant surprise that the, the use it's getting, and we know you did a good thing. What are some of the other projects that are either ongoing or you know that are going to be undertaken? Another big one next year um, is the we, we'd like to finish removing the Simons factory. Um, last year, we actually didn't do anything this year because we used the money we had planned for this year because we had a good company in there to, to bid on it. Mm-hmm. And uh, we have cement to remove of the main factory and two buildings left. We got 22 of the 24 buildings done last year, but you have a huge slab of cement. Um, and we have the EPA in there already drilling for vapor first is what they're looking for. We know when they lift that cement, there's going to be some problems. There'll be some hot spots that don't mm-hmm. need cleaned up. But the nice thing is, uh, we already have a developer who's interested, you know, you're still in those first stages where you're dancing, um, that would like to put, uh, a nice senior citizen village in there, maybe some condos facing the river, uh, cause it's right above the park. Yeah. So you'd have a beautiful view of the river and, and the park itself. So those are the, the, the Morgan's building being redone for an administration office. The, the uh, Simons factory, the rest of the removal are probably the biggest things we have on the agenda for next year. I know, and I don't mean to hit you with this out of left field, but I know that uh, you being a former educator, 
uh, it seems like the town administration and the schools really have a, a good relationship in Newcomerstown. Is that true? It's it's very true. Um, Jason Peoples, who is the superintendent, um, I had him in my fifth, seventh grade health <laughs> classes. You know, that, that's, you're telling on yourself when you've been there too long. Yeah, you're, you're right. And and that's that's been one of the nice things for the for being mayor too is a lot of people that know me from the schools and and um, you have a nice relationship already. Um, and uh, but yeah, with the, the schools, they're they're doing the best they can and and. I was there 35 years, and I'm glad I'm not there with, with what they've had to deal with oh, with COVID. Gosh, yeah. um, but I, I think they're handling it well, and um, you just keep moving. You, you know, that's, that's the whole thing is keep moving forward, and uh, it'll get better. Did I hear that you uh, purchased more solar panels or, or something along we, those lines? We have an agreement. Um, it's not a purchase, actually. Okay. We have an agreement uh, with Westfield Conservancy uh, up in Cleveland. Um, if that name sounds familiar, they were the ones that uh, were going to change uh, Wilkshire Hills yeah. into a park. And and I'm just as glad it's still a golf course. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy that, yeah, too. Yeah. Um, but um, we've been trying for really five years to uh, utilize the old landfill um, to put solar on to generate revenue. And... Um, we thought it's, it was a great spot because we have a, a substation right across the river. In fact, the power poles go right through the landfill to go to the power station. Okay. And we never understood because our, our stumbling block always seemed to be AEP. And, and what we didn't realize is AEP couldn't do anything because they didn't have the capacity to take that electricity. Um, they've been working on the substation the last two years hard. Um, they've increased the size of it. And uh, we're, we're thinking that's why we're able to get it through. But we're looking at 20 acres. Um, we're not – it's it's one of those deals where you kind of have three parties. You have us providing the land, and, and we'll get $15,000 a year plus a, a percent and a half increment increase each year. It's a 30-year contract, um, but the conservancy will sell the electricity to, to AEP. And what those details are, I don't know, and I wouldn't understand right. just because – uh, everybody's got to make a profit is what it, what it comes down mm -hmm. to. But they they take care of that end of it. But um, we're going to put that, that money into the parks. We have we, we updated uh, Southside Park. We put new uh, playground equipment in there earlier in the summer. Uh, we neglected that park for a long time. Um, so that would became the second one, and it's more of a, a little kid's park yeah. with the playground equipment. Then we opened up um, Simon Teller's Park. And um, so – you got a little more maintenance you got to take care of, and uh, this will this will work fine for us as far as supplying it and taking care of those parks. So we built something, but we were able to take care of it with with money for revenue from that. Very good. And and speaking of taking care of it, we're going to have a a new uh, convening of a new council, I guess, after the election. Is that right? We have um, four seats up. We have three candidates running. We. We have a fourth that also did a petition that is a real good candidate, but the petition got thrown out, so we know she's interested in, mm -hmm. in joining us. Um, one incumbent running, two new ones going to be getting in, so we'll have three new ones, and we're excited. They're good people. They're going to help us. We've been very fortunate with the people we've had on, on council. Um, I've had no problem since I've been mayor, and, and that, that goes to their credit. Um, we've got a lot of good things happening, and—, and they have to monitor that and make sure that I'm doing the right thing, too. <laughs> well, I'm sure they're uh, pleasantly uh, not surprised, but uh, working with you uh, has got to be a good good, uh, good thing because you're, you're so used to working with people through your education uh, career that uh, it just kind of extends on then. There's a lot of skills you learned along the way. <laughs> That's for sure. Anything else you want anybody to know about Newcomerstown before we have to wrap it here um just we have um, the meet candidates on saturday at april's at nine o'clock so if you okay. want, want to come and meet those people and ask them some questions that'll be available um i think that's that's pretty much it we've, trick or treat we, we've talked trick or treats on saturday from four to six okay you know that i think most of the most of the towns are in that range they're most of them are on the 30th this year and um that's a good thing you know, I think you you don't you get more of your own kids. I think oh, yeah. when, when people are like yeah. when you have it at the same time. 
All right, so look for Mayor Cato. I don't know what, how he'll be dressed, but uh, uh, I'll, I'll, depending on how cold it is, I'll be sitting in the lawn chair at the end of my driveway with a bag of candy. So <laughs> I'll be ready. That's what we're looking for. Pat, thanks a lot for being here. Really Thank appreciate you very it. Very much for having That's me. Pat Cato, the Mayor of Newcomerstown, on our eight thirty high beam this morning here on Big Hits WBTC.